What do you get from your mum and dad? Yeah, besides cold, hard cash. Yeah, we're talking about inheritance. In the next few minutes, we'll look at how the colour of your eyes and many other things are passed on from your parents. Inherited characteristics, such as eye colour and the shape of your earlobe, are controlled by genes. These genes may have different forms. Different forms of the same gene are called alleles. The gene for eye colour, for example, has an allele for blue eyes and an allele for brown eyes. Everyone has a pair of alleles that determines their eye colour. If you have two alleles for blue eyes, then you'll have blue eyes. If you have two for brown, then you'll have brown eyes. But what if you have one allele for brown and one allele for blue? Alleles are either dominant or recessive. In eye colour, the brown allele is the dominant and the blue is recessive. This means that in a brown-blue pair, the brown one is dominant and you have brown eyes. Now it can happen that mum and dad have brown eyes, yet the child has blue eyes. Why is this? We use genetic diagrams to represent what's happening. The rule is to use a capital letter for the dominant allele and a lowercase letter for the recessive allele. Suppose mum has brown eyes and has one brown and one blue allele. And suppose dad is the same. Their child will get one allele from each parent. When you work out the possible pairs the child could have, the diagram looks like this. One combination here gives blue eyes. So brown-eyed parents can have a blue-eyed child. This is the way that recessive characteristics like blue eyes can be expressed in the children. Understanding the way dominant and recessive alleles work is important for studying genetic diseases too. Huntington's disease, for example. This is an inherited disorder that affects the nervous system. It is caused by a dominant allele. This means having even just one of these alleles will give you the disease. We can draw a genetic diagram using a capital H for the dominant allele. Here one parent has the disease. Children with the dominant allele will become Huntington's disease sufferers too. Cystic fibrosis is another inherited disorder. It affects cell membranes, causing certain cells to produce too much mucus. This affects breathing and digestion. Unlike Huntington's disease, cystic fibrosis is carried by a recessive allele. Someone with just one allele for cystic fibrosis will not have the disease. This person is described as a carrier of the disease, and there's no reason why they would know this. We use a small f for the cystic fibrosis allele because it's recessive. If two parents are both carriers, then it is possible that they can both pass on a recessive allele to their child. On the plus side, there's a 25% chance the child will inherit the two dominant alleles and hence not be a sufferer or a carrier. There are many different inheritable diseases. It's possible to test adults and embryos to see what genes they are carrying. Knowing this can raise difficult questions. Adults may reconsider whether or not to have children if they know there is a risk of passing on a disease. And genetic screening on embryos may lead to difficult decisions for the parents over whether to terminate the pregnancy. Before we go, there's one more thing we need to look at. The differences between men and women. There is one point on which the difference is very, very clear. The sex chromosomes. Chromosomes, remember, are bigger than genes. They are made of long strands of DNA that contain thousands of genes. Each cell in your body has 23 pairs of chromosomes. The sex chromosome pair determines whether you are male or female. There are two types of sex chromosomes called X and Y. Women have a pair of X's, XX, and men have an X and a Y. Sperm cells and egg cells, or gametes to you, have only one sex chromosome. Eggs come from the mother, who's traditionally female, so all eggs have X chromosomes. Sperm can have either the X or the Y from the father. When an egg and a sperm nucleus join together, their chromosomes pair up. XX gives a girl and XY gives a boy.